Short sale market update. Why this may not be the end of the housing crisis part two. Hey, looking for short sale information? You've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, certified default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining us. Hey, the short sale market update. Why this may not be the end of the housing crisis part two. So, last time we talked about the Fed propping up interest rates. This time, let's talk about supply and demand. Remember, to have a market recover, recovery, we need to have buyers willing to buy and sellers willing to sell. Right now, we have buyers willing to buy, but relatively few sellers willing to sell. Why is that? I think first we have to look at why prices are going up and who exactly is doing all the buying. In the greater Sacramento Metroplex, historically, 15% of the monthly home sales are cash, which usually indicates investor purchases. Not always, but usually. Last month, the number of cash sales were nearly 40%, 37.2% to be exact. That means that nearly 4 out of every 10 homes sold went to an investor. Who are these investors? They're everyone from the large head funds to the mom and pops looking to get a better return on their money. Some are those looking to flip properties for a profit and later sell to another investor or end user, but not always. So, why is this a bad thing? I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm just saying it is. What it has done is increased competition for the existing inventory and has caused prices to go up. With multiple offers on nearly every property sold, the prices can't help but go up. Potential homeowners are frustrated and giving up hope on getting a home of their own while they can afford it. But what happens when prices get to the point that investors stop buying? That's right, less competition and prices flatten or go down. Carrington, one of the first to get into the rental market, recently announced that they were no longer buying single family residences. Hmm, who's next? So, why so few sellers are willing to sell? With nearly 40% of all homeowners owing more than their home is worth and the hope of rapid appreciation, we believe many are holding out hope that they will be able to sell without a short sale. For some, that will be truth. But for most, it won't happen. Remember, to get out from underneath your mortgage, you need not only to pay off the existing loan, but closing costs and commissions as well. That can add another 6 to 8% to what you need to break even. If you are 10% upside down, you would need prices to go up 18% to walk away with zero at closing. Zero. So, next time we're going to talk about re, uh, remaining fundamentals of this false market and what you can do to be prepared. To get a better idea of when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info for a free estimate or call me today for a free, no obligation consultation or for the latest short sale information. Call me today, sleep better tonight, and you'll be glad you did.